The effectiveness of shark nets have been called into question after a man was fatally mauled in Sydney's southeast. Diving instructor Simon Nellist, 35, was swimming at Little Bay Beach in the city's east on Wednesday afternoon when he was attacked by the shark, confirmed to be a great white by the Department of Primary Industries DPI. Mr Nellist loved the ocean but was not supportive of two safety measures. What we know about shark attack occurrences off NSW and around Australia. Simon Nellist was killed in a shark attack at the north end of Little Bay Beach. Supplied. Shark nets and drum lines protect no one and kill all kinds of marine life each year, Mr Nellist wrote on Facebook. Shark nets have been rolled out since 1931 between Newcastle and Wollongong. They span across 51 of the state's most popular beaches including Palm Beach, Manly, Freshwater, Balmoral, Bondi, Bronte and Cronulla. The nets are installed each year from September through to April. The effectiveness of shark nets is being questioned. 9 News Shark nets are installed all over the NSW coastline. 9 News The mesh is made up of submerged fishing nets suspended in the middle of the ocean with gaps on either side. This means the nets don't form complete barriers for bathers. A shark can swim around, swim over, swim under, Dean Crop, an underwater filmmaker, said. In recent months, Northern Beaches, Newcastle, Waverley, Randwick and Central Coast Councils have voted in favour of removing the nets. Marine life often gets trapped in shark nets. 9 News The councils claim they provide a false sense of security and threaten marine life. It's been proven that they are totally ineffective, Northern Beaches Mayor Candy Bingham said. If you look out here, they are 800 metres out and they are like a handkerchief hanging in the ocean. They are catching everything but sharks, turtles, dolphins, rays, 